Hello and welcome back to another video on the Football Zone and to a rare midweek review on the YouTube channel. But let's get straight into it. Starting off with Chelsea v Brighton. It finished 0 0. Bloody hell. What they should do is they should just get a Super League where the elite teams play each other each and every week. This was flipping dull. Uh, the highlight of the match came in the 92nd minute when Ben White got sent off. Um, but yeah, this wasn't great for Chelsea and you do feel like. It could harm some of their top hot four hopes. Yeah, they just really, really poor here. Brighton, I think they're safe. Moving on to the games on Wednesday now in the Premier League. And it finished Tottenham 2, Southampton 1. Uh, Danny Ings got Southampton a lead in the 30th minute before Gareth Bale scored in the 60th. Uh, Son had a goal to slam in the 75th minute, but in the 90th minute he got the win uh, from the spot. But to be honest, Jose Mourinho was sacked before this game, and I really didn't understand that decision. You know, they've got a cup final coming up. He's the one you want in the cup final. Um, yeah, and especially for Ryan Mason, it just didn't really make a lot of sense. Um, anyway, Aston Villa 1, Manchester City 2 was the score at... Villa Park. John McGinn got Villa off to a flyer in the tw after 20 seconds before Phil Foden equalised in the 22nd minute and Rodri in the 40th minute. John Stones was sent off in the 44th minute, uh, but that was quickly cancelled out. Matt Cash got sent off in the 57th minute and it finished that way. City, um, you know, they've won the title now. Villa, they're just still stuttering without Grealish, just not that great. Finished Leicester 3, West Brom 0 on Thursday in the Premier League. And yeah, this was a dominant performance by Leicester. Even though, um, personally, I did think West Brom were really poor. And this probably uh, ends any faint survival hopes. As for Leicester, um, yeah, real boost for their top four hopes. Because did look like they were getting a bit shaky. But goals from Vardy, Evans and Ianacho all in the first half. And I think if they play like this, then obviously they will be fine. Because they were outstanding here. Uh, Moving on to the championship now, and on Tuesday it finished Brentford 1, Cardiff 1. Uh, Kiefer Moore gave Cardiff the lead from the spot in the 57th minute before Tariq Fossil equalised six minutes later. Brentford uh, just couldn't find that winner, and you have to say, that's their top two hopes over now. Just really poor from Brentford. Um, last two games they had to win just to be in contention, but they just simply haven't done it and it hasn't been good enough. Cardiff, they're officially in the Championship next season. Mick McCarthy's still doing a good job. Norwich nil, Watford 1 was the score at Carrow Road on Tuesday. Dan Gosling was the only goal of the game in the 57th minute. And yeah, this result and Swansea and Brentford failing to win, you'd have to say pretty much all but secures Premier League football um, for Watford next year. Um, yeah, just a great performance. Norwich, of course, they've still got a five-point lead with uh, three games to go, so it's looking incredibly likely that they'll um, uh, go up as champions. But yeah, two losses on the trot, not too great. Um, but it finished Preston 3, Derby 0 at um, Deepdale. Ben Whiteman, uh, Chad Evans and Ryan Ledson with the goals for Preston. And oh my God, Wayne Rooney's Derby were horrific here. You would have thought at least... Uh, they'd come here and they'd actually show something. Um, but no, they were just absolutely awful. And to be honest, uh, such um, it's a good thing for them that Rotherham's form has been so bad recently. Otherwise, they'd definitely be down. But they've just awful at the moment. It finished Sheffield Wednesday 1, Blackburn 0 at uh, Hillsborough. Josh Windass with the goal in the 37th minute. And yeah, a big win for Sheffield Wednesday. They'll keep on fighting. Um, but yeah... They're only four points behind Derby now. It's not over, but it's a long way back. But when you consider they have to play Derby still, you just never know. I think a lot of it depends on what Rotherham do. As for Blackburn, kind of looked like they turned a corner with that second half against Derby, but they were back to being utter shit here. Um, it finished Swansea nil, QPR 1 at the Liberty Stadium. Lyndon Dyke with a goal in the 90th minute. And Swansea changed formation, and all of a sudden they looked really bad again. They were second best against Wickham as well. And then they've lost to QPR at home. QPR are a decent side, don't get me wrong. And I think they're going to do good things next year. But they have to be winning these games. And to be honest, if I was Barnsley, Bournemouth or Brentford, I'd be queuing up to play them in the playoffs because they just look so poor at the moment. Um, it finished Millwall 4, Millwall 1, Brent Bournemouth 4 at um, the Den. Goals from Billing, Danjuma, Brooks and Solanke for Bournemouth and Jeb Wallace for Millwall. Um, but yeah, what a performance this was for Bournemouth. They just looked um, so good here. Up to third now. Number of wins on the trot is ridiculous now. And that, like Swansea, you want to play them. But one side you definitely don't want to play in the playoffs at the moment is Bournemouth. 
as for Millwall, not great to be honest. Um, it finished Rotherham 1, Middlesbrough 2 at uh, New York Stadium. Angus MacDonald gave Rotherham the lead after three minutes before Crooks was sent off in the 18th minute. I can see why he sent him off, but I don't necessarily agree with the decision, to be honest. Um, Savile in the 33rd and Agpom in the 55th minute um, gave Middlesbrough the win, and that is a big dent in um, Rotherham's survival hopes. For Middlesbrough, it doesn't make too much difference, but Rotherham, I think this is probably a game where they've been targeting, to be honest. Stoke 2, Coventry 3 was the score at... Um, the Bet365 Stadium. Tyler Walker with a goal in the 44th minute before Brown uh, equalised for Stoke. Uh, Coventry took the lead again in the 68th minute, but it was quickly cancelled out by Sam Lucas. However, in the 78th minute, Coventry retook the lead, and that went all but seals their survival. They're out to 16th now, which I think a lot of Coventry fans would have taken out at the beginning of the season. Uh, as for Stoke in 13th, the season just kind of petered out. They missed Tyrese Campbell so much. Um, it finished Wickham 2, Bristol City 1. At um, Adams Park, Parkinson gave Bristol City the lead in the 28th minute before Igbiatsu in the 65th minute scored, and David Stockdale won a penalty in the 92nd minute, which Anu Bayak and Fen were put away. Um, yeah, just absolutely incredible. And Wickham, they're still fighting, six points behind Derby. It's not going to happen, but you never know. Just absolutely crazy scenes at Adam Park. Uh, Birmingham won, Forest won was the score at St Andrews. Roberts with a goal in the 49th minute um, to give Birmingham the lead. However, there was a bit of a dodgy penalty. I can't really make my mind up if it's a penalty or not. But Lewis Grabben in the 97th minute equalised for Nottingham Forest and a draw was a fair result. To be honest, neither side looked too bad here. And I think both sides are going to do okay next season. Two really solid managers. Um, and they look fairly decent here. Um, but the season, of course, is over for them now. Huddersfield nil, Barnsley 1 was the score at, um, at St. James... I've forgotten the name of Huddersfield's Park. Uh, it says Kirkley Stadium here. Um, the name will come to me. John Smith Stadium, that's the one. I don't know where I got Kirkley from. Anyway, Daryl DK scored in the 65th minute um, to give Barnsley the win. And what a huge win that was. With Reading dropping points, it kind of secures their promote playoff space. As for Huddersfield... Yeah, really not great for them, but they are safe now. Finished Luton nil, Reading nil in the Championship at Kenilworth Road. And to be honest, this was just an awful game. Luton, they were okay, but Reading, just absolutely no tempo. Really didn't create much for anything. Um, and yeah, in a must-win game, it was really poor for them. I think they just blown out. Um, but yeah, this is really disappointing. And when you consider where Reading were um, earlier in the season, to miss out on the playoffs now is a big disappointment for them. So, yeah, just not really great on their part. But anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. Remember to like, share, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. And to follow me on Twitter, link in the description below for daily football news. And subscribe to my channel on screen right now. That would be greatly appreciated. Thanks very much for watching. Peace.